Alrighty, well I made yet another shirt. I've been uh, making quite a few uppers. <laughs> I've shown so many of these. Things I've made already, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Um, yeah, this one, I'm sort of getting fairly good with the V-necks, but I've got a terrible trouble. I've, I've basically got an exact measurement and more or less template of how to do them. Um, having a little bit of trouble with always cutting myself short. Oh, you'll... You know, need this amount, so I'll cut out more than I need. And then I turn around and go, oh, there's no way you'd be that big, you'd be that fat, whatever. And then I sew in a lot closer and then trim it off. And then as a result, she sort of ends up being a little bit snug. But anyway, it's just part of the learning curve. Uh, this one you can see here. This is actually full barn long sleeve. Different colour on the other side. So, yeah. So, I've got another design I'm going to try. Um, sort of works out alright, you know, the cuffs are coming up alright and, and whatnot, but believe it or not, one sleeve is actually, well, technically, by the time you measure right to the middle of the back of my neck, five inches difference. And <laughs> no matter how many times, you know, when I first cut this out, I overlapped them, so it was sort of, you know, a perfect cut out because they were perfectly overlapped and then you get to the end of it and I must have put the neck in the wrong place or some bloody thing. I gotta really work on doing the whole you know mirror image on each side and that seems to be a bit of an issue um, but I am sort of fairly happy with some of the designs I'm coming up with uh, although I just can't help myself and always end up making them fairly snug just because uh, yeah, anyway, this one I've uh, even got little tapered ends on it. So that actually comes down an angle and goes flat, as you can probably well see there. Anyway, that's what I've been up to.